Welcome back to Attack on Titan. Why are we back at this moment? Oh, that's why we got that moment. Okay. Ooh, I am so pumped for this conversation. Ah, uh, so he really didn't know what was going on. He's just like, uh... I thought this was gonna be, like, a nice reunion. <laughs> Me either, man. Ooh, <laughs> this is gonna be good. Declaration of War. Well then. Yes, I am curious. What are you gonna say to all these people? Really? I feel like everyone knows something that I don't. <laughs> why, do I, why do I feel like that's a really bad thing? Oh. So he's ready to tighten it up, kill everyone. I get the feeling Aaron's gonna end up being like just as bad <laughs> as all the other characters I don't like. Should he? I mean, just let him go. She's gotta know something's up. Like, she doesn't want to stick around. Mm. Oh, it's Annie's dad. Oh, that's kind of sad. Yeah, I don't think they're coming back, bro. Man, the tension is real right now. <laughs> Someone say something, please. I have a theory, and I don't think you're gonna like it. Yeah, I kinda figured, ah, uh, shit, man. No, I get it, Aaron, I get it. Okay, well, see, that's where you're both wrong. <laughs> Everyone keeps saying, I don't have a choice. You all have a choice. One option might be worse than the other, but you have a choice. Well, that's just kinda what humanity does, I suppose. Well, also the Jaw Titan, but I don't know how that turned out. That was what they thought they were doing. Yep. What's going on here? Oh, so those are all the people that are always on her back. <laughs> I feel, like, I feel like you guys are missing a few things. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Yes and no. Is he actually going to make the Eldians look good right now? Which would explain why that was passed down, yeah. Nobody ever did shit. Yeah, how is everyone going to react to this? Like, wait, everything we've known was a lie? Well, that didn't happen, but I mean... I get the mentality. Damn. I can take a wild guess as to who the major threat is. Uh, it looks like it, yeah. Smart. I mean, the commander did say there were, you know, rats in the house, so I'm assuming that must be one of them. Yeah, I remember it well. Oh god, oh shit. That's what people do in this world, to be totally honest. Oh, it's disgusting. Okay, but he can't. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the end of the show, to be perfectly honest. You just might, Aaron. <laughs> I could actually see that being the case. True. Well, be, for a lot of reasons, Reiner and Berthold being one of them. Right. Again, he did though. Everyone here has a choice. I remember and I wholeheartedly agreed with that at the time. 
<laughs> I vaguely remember that. <laughs> but not anymore? Well, he said it. Sure. I'm sure it has. I mean, he did try to kill himself, so yeah. Fuck. It. Ah, damn it, I feel bad for him. God damn it. I don't want to feel bad for you. I want to keep my hate, but. Damn it, it's too fucking hard now. Oh no, that's too easy, Reiner. If you want to make up for it, you better do some. You better do some actual world saving. No, no. Oh no, I'm, I'm so nervous. I don't 100% agree with that, but I certainly see the parallels. Oh, so he sti it still is against everyone in Paradise Island. Oh god, oh shit. Oh, fuck. Damn. Oh. Damn, he just killed everyone in that building. Damn, and he just killed him too. <laughs> Holy shit. Ah, oh, fuck off. Why would you stop it right there? Well, I definitely feel bad for Reiner and a lot of the other characters now. And it's clear that Aaron is... Like, just as bad, because he, now he's going to do the exact same thing that Reiner, Annie, and Bertolt all did. Great episode. 100% uh, <laughs> made the already very conflicting emotions I had even more so. Because now not only do I understand Reiner, Bertolt, Annie, and all the Marleans, but now I actually feel kind of bad for them. <laughs> I, re I was really determined not to feel bad for them. I'm like, no... He still made a choice, and I 100% can't get behind that choice. But seeing just how guilty and horrible uh, Reiner feels over what he did, because he uh, made the distinction that I was hoping he would, where he's like, no, we did have an opportunity to go back, but I'm the one who made the choice to keep going with the mission. And yes, I understand, like, if they went back, they'd probably all be killed and their families probably would be too and someone else would have just taken their place so in all honesty they chose the better option for themselves to continue the mission but that doesn't change the fact that they did make a choice the same as Aaron is now making a choice <laughs> to attack the Tiber family and kill a bunch of innocent people. Like right there at the end of the episode, he killed pretty much everyone in that building, and I'm sure that's just the tip of the iceberg. I have a feeling a lot of people are going to die in the next episode. And in case anyone's wondering, uh, no, I do not blindly support uh, Aaron's choice because I like him as a character. To be perfectly honest, I've never really liked Aaron all that much as a character. I liked him enough. He was certainly never one of my favorites, and I certainly like him a lot less now <laughs> that he made this decision, because once again, um, out of his options, this is probably the best option, but he's still making a choice to kill innocent people and attack them, you know, on their land. And that's after he found out, like, oh, these people are actually not bad people you know some of them are terrible and some of them are good people just like we are back home and that's something i can at least give to reiner annie and Berthold. they first attacked the walls before they had ever met any of them so at that point they were still very much in the ideology of yeah these people are evil and then they learned how great they were and continued the mission so still you know they ended up making the same uh, choice later, but I do find it interesting that Aaron made this choice after he realized that. So if you really want to boil it down, you could certainly make an argument that Aaron is a lot worse than Reiner. At the end of the day, I still, you know, have to pick a side, and if I'm picking a side, it's going to be Aaron and his team. But at this point, it's just because you know, I followed their story much longer than the others. It's definitely not because I think they're uh, good people <laughs> anymore. Or I mean, Mikasa, uh, Levi, maybe not Levi, but like Mikasa and Armin, like, as far as I can tell, they're still good people. But Aaron did say he was, you know, sending them letters, uh, so they could just as much be a part of this as Aaron is. Honestly, I'd be surprised if they weren't, so... 
Yeah, it's getting complicated. Um, I like that it is. It's good writing. It definitely shows that, you know, in the real world, there isn't a simple good and evil. It's just people making choices that have serious ramifications. And a part of that is choosing a side, but it's certainly getting more difficult to choose a side considering what's happening right now. And I think it's just gonna get more difficult as it goes because just based off of the way Aaron is talking to him, how he killed all the innocent civilians, I think he's um, perfectly willing to do just about anything at this point. And that means bad things are coming. <laughs> To think that the show started off as a simple, uh, I guess like survival horror kind of show, just, you know, survive and kill as many titans as you can, to what it is now where it's all about war, genocide, the morality of what soldiers and regular citizens are willing to do in times of war, and my favorite, uh, you know, making a choice. Because Aaron can say it all he wants, you know, you didn't have a choice and I don't have a choice now. They do. They 100% do, but that's what makes it so interesting, is that they did make these choices, and whether you think those are the right choices or not can completely change your perspective on who the good or bad guy is, even though really none of them are. It's good shit. It's pretty damn good. Animation in this episode was very good. Uh, I really enjoyed the lighting during a lot of the like theatrical performance. And I really loved the final moments where Aaron's eyes started to glow as, you know, the lightning was shooting up his arm and then transformed into the founding slash attack titan. Music in this episode was good, but I don't recall anything really stand out in this one. It was uh, a much quieter episode, I feel like, in terms of the music. But I also think that's because a lot of it was very heavy dialogue and tension building, which the music complemented very well. As for voice acting, I'm giving this one to Yuki Kaji, who plays um, Eren, because it's so dramatically different from the Eren that we have come to know. I mean, he used to just be all fight all the time. And now he's just so much more quiet and subdued. And it makes him genuinely a lot more scary than he ever was before. And it seems pretty clear to me that the show is trying to get everyone to look at everyone in a different light. And that includes Aaron. For, I would guess, most people uh, going all the way through the first three seasons, you know, Aaron is the hero of the story. And right here, he's certainly portrayed more as a villain, which... I really, really like, and I think the voice actor did a fantastic job uh, performing it. Editing and pacing wise, uh, it was definitely slower because again, it was a lot of dialogue and building up to whatever insanity is about to happen in the next episode. That being said, it did set up a lot of things in a 20 minute time frame. A lot of exposition as to what really happened with King Fritz trapped two of the uh, titan shifters in like a deep well or something. Aaron and Reiner finally had the long overdue conversation that has been coming. And then of course the big setup for what's gotta be a crazy showdown in the next episode. So yeah, there was a lot that was comp- there was a lot that was accomplished, but it still took its time doing it, you know, as much as you can in a 20 minute episode. Overall, I'm gonna give this episode a 9 out of 10. I think it was very good, and I have to give it um, a certain degree of applause just for finally making me <laughs> feel bad for Reiner. Because I'm stubborn. I was really determined to just be like, no, fuck him. But I can't anymore. Not after that. So I am uh, pretty beyond pumped for that next episode because it seems like we have gotten through most of the dialogue and setup, and now we're about to get a heavy dose of action and really conflicting moments because like i said there's no way that that was the extent of aaron's murder of innocent people next episode we're gonna see him kill a lot of people and who knows who else <laughs> like this is about to it's about to go down and i will see you all on that next episode and that's about it